Welcome back, disgruntled sports fans. Are you ready for some playoff football? I mean, are you ready for some rigged playoff football? Because I sure as heck am. All right, so this first rigged play happens with the Bagwires and the Chefs. They send Agnew out over on the right side of the field, and then he catches this ball, and then he totally fumbles this ball on purpose. Watch right here. No one touches him. No one jars the ball loose. He's just going to go ahead and let this ball go right here, just like so. You don't think anyone's going to notice that when they go back and look at the replay? Because I sure as heck noticed that you caught the ball. Nobody touches you. Nobody jars the ball loose at all. You just let it go right about here on purpose. And then you pretend like you're trying to grab it again. Yeah, right. Totally did that on purpose. Now you're going to act like you're upset. Oh, man, I totally just blew the game in the playoffs. Oops, my bad. All right, so here we have the Cowgirls versus the Winers. Dak Prescott on this play, looking more like Dirk Prescott. <laughs> Watch here. Oh, yeah, you were totally trying to throw it to your guy. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is considered to be one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. Let's watch the pinpoint accuracy of Dirk Prescott. Let's go, Dirk! Let's go, Dirk! Yay, Dirk! Oh, yeah, your receiver totally had a chance at that one. Good job, Dirk. And look, he totally looks like he's so upset that he just did that. Look at the emotion in his eyes. It's the playoffs and he just blew it. All right, here we got the Bills and the Bengals. In what was supposed to be an exciting game, but it wasn't, it's because they purposely had Buffalo lay down and look like they were the worst team in the league, basically. So they have Jamar Chase go over the middle and no one covers him. You know, the best player on the Bengals. Leave him wide open. Nobody gonna cover Jamar Chase. Let him score a cupcake touchdown on purpose. Fanboys are like, it was a blown coverage. Oh, uh, Jamar Chase is just that good. All right, so on this play, we have the scripted one-handed catch and the scripted touchdown all in the same play. Watch the tight end over here, Godert. One-handed catch, magnetic gloves all the way. Watch this guy try and make a tackle. Yeah, man, you tried your best. Totally. Now, whenever I mention magnetic gloves and magnetic balls, fanboys will inevitably tell me that they themselves can make this same catch barehanded, no problem. This is his left hand, and watch how quickly the ball comes to a stop when it hits his glove. Magnetic. So this play right here, man, is the number one most rigged play of the week. And it is a doozy. All right, so watch Brock Pretty Lady here throw to this other pretty lady. And watch him bobble it and somehow make this catch. So it's no secret they've been leaving George Kittle wide open all season long, letting this guy score easy touchdowns, purposely missing tackles, diving at his feet. This guy is made to look like he's unstoppable, uncoverable, untacklable. And this is just another example of how guys are purposely letting this dude make catches. And that, my friends, is your top five most rigged plays of the divisional playoff round. 
Make sure you are subscribed if you have not done so already, and I will see you next time.